hello professor my name is Meet and this is my submission for project 2 uh, batcher banyan network and let me start with uh, what the network is and why do we use this so essentially a banyan network could uh, route a banyan network is basically a delta network and it could route any input to any particular output so basically there exists one definite path to any output okay so if we can see here from b1 we could go to d3 maybe it means output 4 or 5 basically from b1 we could go to any particular output any input leads any one input leads to any output okay uh, so here what would happen in case if there are two packets which would reach the same node and then also comes a third one who wants to go somewhere if uh, if we only consider the delta network so what would happen is there would be a collision on this point and there would be packet loss so to avoid the packet loss in that in this delta network we use some sort we use sorting to first sort all the input and then we pass it to the banyan or the delta network which then correctly finds the output path for each packet and routes them correctly this avoids the collision of packets and hence increases increases the throughput of the network so let's take a broader look on what is the batcher banyan network basically what would happen is we we get uh, an input sequence which might be unsorted so we first sort them and then we pass it pass them to the uh, banyan network so first we get them uh, so let's say if we get uh, 0 it goes to a1 if it goes we if we get 1 it goes to a2 3 to a3 4 to a4 and in that way we we pass them to the uh, dedicated slot in in the first input slot for the ban, ban, banyan network then once we are in the banyan slot uh, once we are in the banyan slot uh, we check uh, for let's say we get uh, let's assume that assume an example for packet number four uh, packet number four is basically one two three four this one zero one zero zero so first uh, we we get it sorted and it's it goes to a5 now we have this number four which is uh, in binary it is zero one zero zero so each number represents uh, will be uh, will be compared uh, for each column uh, there are four bits which would be represented in four columns and each uh, bit is compared uh, at each input on the column so in a5 if input is 0 it would go to the upper section else it would go to the lower section so here we have 0 and hence it would go to b1 if it were to be 1 then it would have gone to b5 now uh, now at b1 we will check the second bit of the binary number that is 1 so since it is 1 we will go to the lower section and so it will not go to c1 but it will go to c3 now we have two zeros three and uh, in the third and fourth uh, position we have zero zero so in c3 since we have zero it will go to the upper link which is d3 and finally in the fourth uh, position also we have zero which would lead to an output of four hence we will get uh, hence the out, uh, input uh, four uh, goes through the path a5 b1 c3 d3 and we will get the output four Similarly, let's take an, a quick example of uh, a number higher, which might be, let's say, uh, 15 and 15 is this, triple one, uh, four ones. So first, uh, we know that the input would go to A8. Now in A8, we will check if the first bit is 0 or 1. Since it is 1, we will go to the lower section. We will go to B8, from A8 to B8. Now in B8, again, we will check and the bit is 1. So we will go to C8. Again, uh, we have a 1. So we will go to D8. And finally, we go to output 15. And hence the output is correctly uh, routed to the endpoint location. So this is the main logic behind the batch abandon network. Uh, let me go to uh, let me show you the working example. So let's say uh, I I have made a so firstly I have made a Flask web app which takes the input from the user. A, a user can provide any number of inputs up to fifteen, uh, max number is fifteen, and uh, the numbers are to be comma separated and once he enters or gives the numbers let's say 10 and he submits it the app would calculate the path for each input so right now we only had one input and hence it would show us the output path so it is a3 b7 c5 and d6 so let let's quickly compare the result with the main input image so we have a 10 10 goes to 10 is your 10 10 10 10 i think this one is 10 and 10 goes to a3 yeah 10 is basically 
10 is 8 plus 2 which is uh, 4 bits so 0 1 0 1 yep so it's 1 0 1 0 correct and in a3 uh, so the first we have reached a3 now we check if the first input is 1 or 0 since we know it is 1 the input will go from a3 to following this path to b7 and did we get b7 yep we got b7 so now in the uh, in the b column we will check at b7 if uh, the second bit and we know that it is 0 so if since it is 0 it will follow the upper link and go to c5 and now we know it has gone to c5 over here and finally in the c column we will check uh, the third bit of 10 which is 1 and since it is 1 it will follow the downward link and go to d6 and here we can see it is d6 and finally in the uh, last bit we know it is 0 so it will go to the upper half and which is output number 10 and hence we know this is the way we can see how that the output is correctly sorted by the batch network so i'm going to show a few more examples now let's take uh, let's take a larger sequence so i have uh, this uh, input sequence so here we can see the inputs 0 1 uh, the firstly the input uh, the input which was provided was an unsorted sequence now the output is shown in the correct sorted order so here we can see the output is correctly sorted 0 1 3 5 7 let's take a quick example for 0 and verify the results so 0 is basically all zeros so it will go to a1 following the upper link it will go to b1 c1 d1 and output 0 b a1 b1 c1 d1 and output 0 let's take 7 which is 0 and triple 1 so 0 triple 1 goes to a8 then it's three ones so it would follow oh first is 0 sorry so it will go to b4 and then three ones so c4 d4 and output 7 so a8 b4 c4 d4 and output 7 now uh, let me take an example where there is uh, if the user inputs a wrong packet that, that is uh, below the packet should be in the sequence of 0 in the range of 0 to 15 only and now he has input he has given the input of minus 1 so the the code would return an error saying enter the numbers in the range of 0 to 15 only another example is 12 14 15 and 16 so here it goes above the maximum limit and it would again show the error saying uh, the entered number is uh, please enter numbers in the range of 0 to 15 only uh, strengths of my code is it takes dynamic user input and it allows up to 15 numbers uh, like 0 to 15 any number can be sorted and we get the output so basically even if you pass an 8 by 8 uh, input for the smaller matrix we would still be able to sort the whole input using this 16 by 16 matrix it handles input between 0 to 15 and it also returns an error to the user if the range is not between 0 and 15 the weakness of this code is basically we this is a 16 by 16 so to implement a higher order or higher number range uh, we would do any we obviously need to do a separate implementation and that is not handled in this case so now i will walk through the code once so basically i have two main files this is my bbn.py which is which contains the main logic the main logic of the batch of banyan network and then there is this app.py which is basically the fast flask web app which uh calls the bbn.py and the functions within it i'm going to explain it using the bby bbn.py so let's go to the main function inside the main function we first initialize the sequence i'm going to run this code once so that we can see the output in between so basically first what happens is we initialize the input sequence uh, and we get it for a range so let's say the user inputs any number user can input any number between 0 and 1 uh, 0 and 15 here I have taken 15 numbers for total length for total numbers. So here we get uh, uh, an input sequence. Uh, now this goes to the batch of network, batch of sorter basically. What happens is first uh, the list, input list gets sorted and then the and then it creates a list of packets. So what are packets? Packets is basically a class that I have created. And this packet contains three variables, a data, a binary number, binary conversion of the data and the path. So this data is basically any number from the element, from any element in the list. So let's say five. So if I say five, binary is the binary conversion of five, which is one zero one one. And then the path. So if I, it, it, it is a list of path, which says it goes from a, for example, it goes from a5 or a6 to then b0 then 
c4 something like this okay or or if i take a shorter example let's say zero then the binary conversion is zero 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 and then from the image we can verify that it goes from a a1 to b1 to c1 to d1 and to output zero output zero I'll show this output in the, oh here we can see it already output 0 goes from a1 b1 c1 d1 and output 0 so in this way it creates a list of packets now going back to the sorter after creating the list of packets it's in, it initializes the input ports so what are input ports it is uh, if we go back to the image of the 16 by 16 banyan network we see this interconnection uh, which shows where each packet goes inside when it uh, launches the batcher after the batcher sorter and before it enters the banyan network it each uh, input goes to a certain input port uh, and each input port can each input can take two inputs basically it is a two by two crossbar so now uh, let's say we get a packet number nine so packet number nine would go to a2 let's see uh, packet number nine seven eight nine nine goes to a2 so in that way we sort the input to uh, avoid the collision which happens inside the delta network and which is why why we are using the batch banyan network so from here it now let's uh, let me go back to the main uh, inside initialize so after initializing it returns the batcher sorter now we are inside the batcher sorter and uh, inside the main again and the batcher network implementation has been completed now it goes to the banyan part what happens inside the banyan part is basically for each packet in the list of packets, it finds the path for each packet. So let me go inside the uh, packet switching uh, in, inside the pack fi path finding for each packet. The first step is to initialize the switches. What are switches? It is basically where the packet would go at from a particular location to the next level. So from A1, we can see that there are two links, red and blue, which says if it is zero, it goes to the upper link. If it is one, it goes to the lower link. So from A1, if we get a value which has 0, it goes to B1, otherwise it would go to B5. In that way, we have an input with two possible outputs. Every Each and every node has two possible outputs. So that is why we have a list which maps it to a 0 or 1. Index 0 is B1, index 1 is B5. In the same way, we have a switch for B. So in B1, we have two possible outputs, C1 and C3. So from B1, we could go to C1 or we could go to C3. Similarly for C, from for C, we could go from C1 to D2. Uh, from C1, we could go to D1 or D2. So C1 has D1 or D2. And finally in D1, we have we can see two outputs, output 1 and output 2. So we can get an output 0 or we could get an output 1. And this way, we have the whole initialized switch network. Now, we find the path if uh, from, for a packet. So let's say we take zero and when we take zero, first we check where did the uh, pa packet zero go into the first column? Where did a, where did packet zero go into the A network, into the A column? So for zero, it goes into A1. How can we verify that? If we come here into the input ports, we see that zero goes to A1. It, this is always fixed. So this is the so batcher sorter implementation and it is always fixed which uh, which is done to avoid the collision now from a1 it will go where will it go so we have to check the binary the uh, binary conversion of zero so we we know that zero is zero 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 four zeros so first column in first column zero in a1 we can have we have two options b1 or b5 so if it is zero it would go to b1 and hence we can see that it is b1 now in b1 we can we know for zero we have zero uh, for uh, b for zero we know the values are zero 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 so in the for the first zero it went to a1 uh, now for the second zero let's see where does it go from from a1 it went to b1 now from b1 where will it, where will it go let's check so from b1 we know that the third column value is also zero uh, i mean second column value is also zero so let's see from b1 it would go to c1 then in the third now from c1 uh, where will it go so it will go into again zero which is c1 of zero which is d1
and finally in the fourth column uh, in this image we know if it is 0 it goes to output 0 and d1 if it is 0 it goes to output 0 and hence we can verify that uh, from uh, from the input uh, zero, if the input is 0 we have traced the whole path for that packet in this way we could verify that all the packets can reach to the correct output locations basically 14 reaches to 14th output 13 reaches to 13th output 10 reaches to 10th output and in this way we we have verified the whole packet and finally when it returns to the main function we could we are able to print the whole packet uh, using uh, the python dot string connect but what happens is basically the path of the packet is stored inside the path so if I come here and I just print this packet uh, a, a path for the whole packet uh, like this we, we would be able to see where each uh, input uh, packet 0 uh, let me just do it do one more thing packet dot data comma yeah yeah, so we can see if 0 has this path where it has taken the packet 0 has taken this path. Packet 5 or packet 7 has taken A8, B4, C4, D4. I can quickly verify packet number 7. So packet number 7 is here 0110. Zero, zero. It goes to packet number A8 uh, to node number A8. From A8, we know it is 0. So it will go to the upper route and it takes B4. Now we have three ones. 0 1 1 1 3 1 so it will always take lower path so from b4 it will go to c4 from c4 d4 d4 to output number 7 so this way in this way we have uh, solved the uh, collision problem and it also reaches the correct output in the flask cap uh, when the user uh, gives the input array we take the input array and we first uh, remove any spaces and then we split or based on comma and we convert each string like when we get a user uh, when we get a user input the, it is initially stored as a string so we convert it to integer now we have a sequence we first do a temporary check if uh, the numbers are in, uh, between 0 and 15 only if not we send them back i mean we, we return an error to the user and if not basically everything is okay and we continue the same processing which we did here in the previous uh, bbn.py we, we, we perform the same processing in this uh, as well and we create the whole network and then we return the results to the user which are displayed and the app uh, is deployed at batchabanyanetwork.herokuapp.com oh here uh, yeah, it's your patch of Banyan network and you can enter any input array. I'll just quickly verify and I'll show you the correct running output. So here we get the correct running output as well. Thank you.